This week, I printed some paper props. Hi everyone, welcome back to the City Aperture channel. My name is Jose, and I go by City Aperture. And this week we're going to finish the props that we started last week, which are all paper props. Last week, as you'll recall, I was just uh, setting up the files in Photoshop um, and those files will be available I'll tell you how where at the end of the episode um, but then we're gonna print them we're gonna print them in a couple of different ways we're gonna try a couple of uh, different papers some plastic uh, so let's go ahead and get started all right so let's get into I printed in three different mediums this is printed on Bristol board here, and every batch you're gonna see, I've printed in all three of these mediums. So that's Bristol board, you know, Bristol board. Just so you can get this at any art store. Right? Then I also printed it on a transfer paper, or what I come close to being a transfer paper, which is the back of label. You know how you get those uh, office labels and then you peel them off. That's what this is printed on. Should be good. And then. Finally, I also printed them on actual label paper, right? So we can also cut this out, peel them, and stick them to a thicker board if necessary. So this, gives, this is going to give you three options on how you can make this work. And all of them are printed on multiple, that's the, the sticker paper. They're all printed in multiple different ways. When we transfer, transfer it from here, we're going to transfer it to a piece of plastic. This is styrene plastic. right? You can get this at most art stores as well. So we'll do the transfer to that. And then finally, all of them are going to go in different things. This guy, I've only this is the only one I only printed on Bristol board. I'm going to double it up and we're going to laminate it. And that will be it for that. The Stark one, similarly, I think I'm going to end up laminating a bunch of these guys, maybe transfer them to plastic. But then they can be attached to the different things that hold badges, like this. I got this at Walmart. They also have this kind of a thing, where you put in a badge in there, and then you can clip it to yourself. So that's the idea for the Stark Industry one. For our shield badge, I bought this from wish.com and you can see it has the shield logo in it it has the spot where you put your badge and then it has the metal badge on it this I think was 10 bucks it was I'll put a link to it on the description this came with a badge for Colson right so we're basically gonna recreate this but for me and put it in there so you can flip it open and say your agent of shield right and then finally for the multi-pass I 3D printed the multi-pass holder. It comes in two parts. We're going to sand and finish and paint this guy. And then the multi-pass holder is going to sit in here. That's the whole idea behind it. And you can show it. So, so we got a lot of work to do. You can do all of this without having this other stuff. Um, so by the end, we'll have varying different ways that we're going to make this. Different budgets, all that stuff. So let's get started. I think we're going to start with the Jurassic Park. We can start here and then move our way through them. First step is to cut them so that I can glue them. So I'm going to cut two edges of each and that'll let me glue them together. Alright, so I'm going to start gluing these guys together. I'm going to use some spray glue. You can use any glue you have, glue stick, whatnot to glue these guys together. So let's, I'm going to spray this side and then put it on that side. Okay, so I sprayed this side and I let it dry for a little bit. That's the, read the instructions in the back of your can. Um, and if you're using some other kind of glue, you know, that might be different. But I'm going to place this to another way. I cut it is so that I can line up this corners. I'm going to let it dry for a second and then I'm going to trim the rest of the stuff off. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of them. 
So here I glue a bunch of the other ones. I don't know which versions I'm going to keep, so I just wanted to do all of them in as many options as possible. So this is all Bristol board getting glued together still. Alright, now we can trim it all the way off. Uh, this one anyways, the other ones I don't always trim all flush before I laminate. Then we're gonna laminate this guys, the Bristol ones anyway. Alright, there we go. I cut it out, double sided, it's stiffer because it's two ply. And it's gonna stiffen up a little bit more once I laminate it next, so we will eliminate this and the other ones that I've made out of the same material. This is again the Bristol board. Right, so I just want to show real how, how easy it is to cut. This is the styrene plastic again. Right, and all you gotta do is find your line. You score it once or twice. Right? And then you just go back and forth and it breaks like that. It's pretty, it's pretty cool stuff. Right. So now I'm going to apply the gel medium to our print, again on the label, and then we're going to put it down on here, press it down and let it cure for a while, then we're going to peel it off. Um, you're technically supposed to <laughs> reverse this when you do it, because now it's going to be backwards, I only printed it this way here, I'll show you, for example, with the stark one, you know, that's how it typically looks, and then that's what it would look like, you see how it's reversed, right? That's what you technically gotta do. I've already done the other one, so... And I'm not gonna reprint this, I'll just put it on backwards. Mostly to, to show it to you guys, but, you know, you'll get the idea. So I'm trying to play an even layer as possible here. Okay, so this is what we had put the gel medium on, we've let it dry for a bit, now we're going to start peeling it off and it should leave the writing behind, just like that, hmm? we, didn't know it. we missed a little there, cool. just like that, there it is. It's now transferred from here onto here. There was a slight little hitch there where it didn't get all of it, but that's okay. But there you have it. That's how you transfer from just plain old label paper to some plastic. And it's in there pretty good. You can then trim it to size. Okay, now to the label ones, right? This I printed on you can see Avery label. Uh, yeah. I just bought this one that are a full sheet. And uh, I've got this at Walmart. I did a test to see how well they stick to stuff. You could technically stick this to anything. You can stick it to cardboard, you can stick it to more Bristol board. I'm gonna stick it to some of the um, styrene plastic. I did a test on a little piece of it. You can see here's the styrene plastic. Here's the label, and it actually sticks so well that it starts to rip. You can see there, it starts to rip when it peels, when you try to peel it off. So I think it'll hold really well. These labels are meant to not come off clearly. Um, so I think it'll be good. We're gonna stick this guy onto some styrene plastic. Okay, so now I've put the label paper on the styrene plastic. I'm gonna cut it out using the same method that I was using before in which you score it and then you can break it off like that. Nice and clean cut. I'm gonna have to be very careful as I score it. I gotta make sure I go through the label and score enough of the plastic to be able to bend it and break it. 
I'm gonna do all the scores first. Let's see how this goes. I've not tried cutting it with the label on there. I probably should test that first. But let's just do it. And then here now, I am laminating the Bristol paper. It's a slow process, so I skipped ahead. But here you're going to see how they come out out of the laminator. I have this at the office, but uh, I think you can find them at a Kinko's. And then we just trim them. For the Jurassic Park one, I'm just trimming the edges. For the other ones, some I had to trim more of. So the next thing to do with this guy is I'm going like, to need to cut a slot in here so that I can get the loop of this around it. To do that I've made a little template that fits in here already, like that. And I'm going to use this to cut it onto that guy. So we're just going to line them up like so and go from there. Okay, so here are the four finished props. We've got, of course, a Stark in Stark's Industry Badge, Multi Pass from the Fifth Element, Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park Tour Vehicle Parking Pass, and the Agents of Shield Badge. So, like I said, I've printed them all different ways. This one, of course, is two layers of Bristol board laminated, right? The Multi Pass ended up being a plastic piece with the label on it just because this was the brightest one and I'm gonna glue this down to that plastic once I finish this guy so this will be another video when I make the finished product when I go ahead and sand and finish and paint the holder itself the Stark Industries this one is also one of the laminated two ply Bristol and only because I'm, I am actually made a bunch of those I'm gonna use them for here's another one uh, I made a ton of this guy so I'm gonna use them for different things I might wear them to a con whatnot the agents of shield badge is the plastic with the transferred um, the, using this the label sheets as a transfer medium to put it onto the plastic itself and of course I bought this at wish.com um, I'll put a link to that in the description so that gives you different ways of trying to put this together. I've got all the files for you that you can edit. They're all Photoshop files, so you can put your own picture, your own names, your own addresses, or fake addresses in this case. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, you know, subscribe, all that stuff. And download the files if you feel like doing this yourself. You know, all of those uh, different ways of doing this are viable. If you have any questions, hit me up in the description or in the comments below. I'll answer them and try and help as much as I can. Thanks guys for watching. See you next week.